हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एल एन ओवरसीज इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूटन्स थ्योर फॉर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नाउ अंडरस्टैंड एयर व्हाट इज न्यूटन्स थ्योरम द सम ऑफ सिमिलर पावर्स ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ एन इक्वेशन कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड रेशनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉपिशेंट्स राइट कंसिडर अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन विच हैज रूट्स अल्फा बीटा सो इफ दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ अल्फा एंड बीटा रेज्ड टू सिमिलर पावर्स राइट वेयर एन इज अ नेचुरल नंबर then this condition will be valid right then this part will be valid let's see basic part here what will be vn plus 1 let's take positive here only right talking about alpha bar n plus beta bar n. so vn plus 1 will be alpha bar n plus 1 plus beta bar n plus 1 plus talking about left hand side only b into alpha bar n plus beta bar n plus c into alpha bar n minus 1 plus beta bar n minus 1 this is zero this we have to prove zero now Directly taking the coefficient of alpha, let's take alpha bar n minus one common. What you will be getting for this? A alpha square plus b alpha plus c. So this part is all the coefficient of alpha. Here. Similarly, beta we can take beta bar n minus one. Same coefficient you will be getting for this one also. That is a beta square plus b beta plus c. and you clearly know that alpha beta are roots of this equation so alpha beta both satisfy this equation so this part is zero as well as this part is zero entirely that is zero so you simply have to remember if this kind of relation is given in the equation you directly have to apply the newton's theorem proceeding with first question let alpha beta be the roots of this quadratic with alpha greater than beta if an is defined as alpha bar n minus beta bar n for n greater or equal 1 then find this value very simple This value will be directly with respect to this only, right? We require a ten, a eight, a nine, right? So the first term that we require with respect to the formula, if you remember, a v n plus one plus b v n plus c v n minus one, that is zero, right? So it is just decreasing order only, right? So first I require ten only, that will be multiplied with one, one into a ten minus six a nine minus two a eight, that will be zero. Very simple equation. That only has to be related here. This is a ten minus two a eight will be six a nine, or dividing by two a nine, that will be three on. Right. Second question: For a natural number n, let again a n is nineteen par n minus twelve par n. Then find value of this one. Right. This was asked in J M N twenty twenty two only. Now, as you can see, no mention of quadratic equation, no mention of alpha beta, but we can apply the same procedure because of the newton's theorem here so if i consider alpha as 19 beta as 12 what will be my quadratic equation that will be simply x square minus sum of roots that will be 31 and product of roots that we can simply write 19 into 12 1 this is the quadratic equation now we can directly apply newton's theorem here that will be a With respect to this, we have to apply eight nine ten. So clearly, this will be a ten only. First term minus thirty one a nine plus nineteen into twelve a eight. This is equal to zero, right? But we require thirty one a nine minus a ten. So this term on the right hand side. This part is divided here. That is fifty seven a eight. So nineteen into three will be fifty seven, right? The remaining you have left here four. That will be your answer. Proceeding with next question. next is another kind of application now imaginary roots are given to you and again if i consider alpha and beta only then i directly apply this with respect to newton's theorem what will be the equation here x square minus sum of roots sum of roots will be 2 minus 2x plus product of roots which will be 1 plus 5 1 minus 5 iota square which will be 1 plus 5 that is 6 So this part is the quadratic equation. Again, what we require ten nine eight only. So a ten minus two a nine plus six a eight will be zero. What has been done here? Okay, a nine has been separated out. So we just have to separate it only. A ten minus a nine that will be equal to a nine minus six a eight. So this value you just have to divide. It will be one only. This part is one. Proceeding with next part. Next is extension of Newton's theorem. Right. now same thing exactly same thing if you have been given such condition then also newton's theorem is applicable 
what we have done here p is multiplied here and q is multiplied any constants can be multiplied so again that will be still be valid based on this iit has asked question in je advanced 2017 what is that let pq be integers and let alpha beta be the roots of the equation where alpha not equal beta for n 0 1 2 let a and b this is given to us right now so according to this we can directly apply newton's theorem what will be that for a4 we have been given 28 right and we have to find value of p plus 2q a4 is a 28 right a4 is 28 so what will be a4 can be written with respect to these terms if i apply newton's theorem that will be a4 minus a3 minus a2 equals 0 this is the newton's theorem so clearly a4 is equal to a3 plus a2 right a4 is a3 plus a2 this is 28 so a3 is again similar condition can be applied what will be a3 a3 minus a2 minus a1 will be 0 so simply it is coming in the terms of one term is equal to sum of the previous two terms right so a3 is a2 plus a1 this will be 2 a2 plus a1 is 28 similarly a2 will be a1 plus a0 so this will be 3 a1 plus 2 a0 now you can directly place the values here a1 will be p alpha plus q beta and a0 will be p plus q on right okay what else we require this has roots alpha and beta so what will be sum of roots from here sum of roots will be alpha plus beta will be alpha plus beta that is one only sum of roots is one so beta can be written as one minus alpha beta is one minus alpha so this part can be converted entirely in terms of alpha which will be 3p alpha plus q into q into 1 minus alpha or you can write q minus q alpha plus 2p plus 2q that is 28. Now from this part coefficient of alpha will be coefficient of alpha p minus q into 3 plus what else we have 2p plus 3q plus 2q that is 5q this is 28. So clearly on the right hand side we have only and only rational number no irrational number so directly on comparison what you can do this is irrational this part will be zero only no irrational part on the right hand side and this part will be directly equal to 28 so this means p equals q only right this equal to 28 that means you can directly write 7p because p and q are equal that gives you p as 4 what you require p plus 2q that will be p and q are equal only so this is 3p which will be 3 into 4 12 easy part if you go through newton's theorem if you go through finding the roots and finding different terms that will be lengthy method proceeding to next question that was linked to this one only right that was part of comprehension so a12 will be a11 plus a10 right we have seen that it is sum of previous two terms proceeding to next question this is given here let alpha beta be the roots of the equation pk is defined k greater or equal 1 then which of the following is not true this was also asked in j main 2020 so make sure you do this question yourself and post your answers in the comment box also if you have any questions or suggestions you can post that in the comment box we will definitely get back to you we are coming up with more conceptual videos for je exam so stay tuned with us thank you